All right, this morning, an all-out effort to beautify one of our finest natural resources and keep our beaches clean. Research shows that more than 22 million pounds of plastic pollution end up in the Great Lakes every year. But thanks to a robot, a Eucalaria beach is looking a lot cleaner these days. Our Mike Holden joins us live with how it works. And Michael, though this device is relatively new, this thing has been around for some time. Guys, good morning. Yeah, it's been around for a little while here and it is called the Beebot. Once again, the Beebot, you're going to remember the name and you're going to be completely impressed by the work that it does day in and day out. This thing has been in 10 other states at this point, cleaning up a number of beaches and the people behind it say it is an incredible tool that picks up those tiny little pieces of plastic particles that many of us can't even see. All the people that live around the Great Lakes really care about their heritage. They want to make sure, you know, especially parents, uh, that their kids will be able to enjoy the Great Lakes like they were able to. Sims Park Beach has never looked better or cleaner. The Euclid area community staple is getting a little TLC, and it comes from this little device. A battery-powered, remote-controlled solar robot, simply known as the Beebot. What this robot does is actually pick up the finer particles, or a lot of those plastics that break down into smaller pieces. The device was created by cereal cleaners in France, perfecting the cleanup process, raking away seaweed, carrying loads. Getting the Beebot here was made possible through the efforts of Keep Euclid Beautiful and Keep Ohio Beautiful. We've invested a lot and we just want to make sure that it's clean. The Beebot carefully moves over the sand, sifting through and scoping out those tough to grab items. We're talking about the pieces and parts that you can't even see. The great thing about this machine is it's sifting through the sand and it's getting some of those small microplastics and smaller pieces that the average person wouldn't pick up or maybe even a rake wouldn't. It moves uh, fast, yeah, sweeping up roughly 3,000 square longer. feet of beach an hour. Officials with cereal cleaners say it's environmentally friendly and protects plant and animal life. It's also a conversation starter, further highlighting the importance of keeping plastics out of our waterways and showing how we can do our part. And this gives us a, a great opportunity uh, you know, to show them the different kind of trash that we collect. Also use it as a teaching tool to engage the local community on why it's so important to reduce, reuse, and worst case scenario, recycle. That's what it is all about, also doing your part with this method. And we also wanted to point out that the Beebot will not just be exclusively used right here at Sims Park. This thing can go across Northeast Ohio. It's going to be held here for now. And guys, as we've witnessed through that story and over the last couple of weeks, it's really making a huge difference. Yeah, Mike, it looks like it does a great job there out on the beach. Uh, the big question here we got to ask this morning is how much does something like this cost and how do they actually pay for it? Yeah, yeah, you look at it and you're like, that thing is not cheap, right? So they were able to get a grant that covered the cost more than $70,000, but they say it's money well worth it because, again, so many people can use this and they say it's already going to make a difference for a lot of the beachgoers and the people out here, and it even cuts time on a lot of those volunteers who typically would spend hours out here on the day-to-day.